We are live. Shall we deconstruct the enterprise event season? From a, now, I'm going to try to do this from a customer perspective, not from a what does John Reed want out of an event perspective, because I don't think that's really, really fair. Um, I try to improvise mostly and try to make every event a good event, no matter what happens. Um, I will say that I think we need to kind of move on a little bit from the it's so great to see each other cliches. It is great to see each other. It was a blast. But, um, you know, before the pandemic, events were in dire need of reinvention. And so I think now it's time to kind of accept that and, and start thinking about how can we make events better instead of like, oh, so good to be back to normal again. Well, normal wasn't all that great. The keynotes were insufferable. The DJs were too loud. <laughs> there was less peer-to-peer -peer experiences of informal discussions. And in general, I think there was a lot of lost opportunity to make events more creative. So let's get back to that discussion. Tracy said, the shows, I love them because I get to see a lot of my friends, but it feels like they're getting so big, the real conversations don't seem to happen. Exactly. Bingo. But, you know, even a big event can have, like, small group facilitated experiences and peer-to-peer -peer interact. I mean, that's that's the thing is that the kind of peer-to-peer -peer networking I'm describing, like, when you want to do it at scale, you do have to, like, think through it a little bit. I did see some really good examples of that this spring, which was cool. Uh, one was at uh, Salesforce Connections where they had sort of this uh, – uh, I'm not going to get it named quite right, but it's like a circles of success thing that were these small group facilitated roundtables and it was super interesting. I mean, it's just, you know, just general kind of thinking through. There's not one right way to do this, but, you know, that kind of informal gathering of customers. Zoho did a really nice job at, at a localized event that I went to with us too, where you're just sitting around the table kind of sharing war stories, but sometimes around a structured theme or topic or challenge. And um, sometimes a little facilitation does have to come into the mix, but... Oh my gosh. I mean, the the comparison of that kind of discussion versus like an over-moderated panel is like night and day. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's tough for vendors sometimes because it they want to believe that they have to put on a big production and show. And it's a little bit, it takes a little bit of humility to say, we did the hard part about getting all these great people in the same room, but now we have to step out of the way and let them connect with each other and make that happen. That's a, I think that may be a little bit humbling, but that's what event organizing is about.